I have got on the bench today one of these cheap uh, Chinese uh, motorcycle alarms or moped alarms. Um, you see a lot of these on eBay. Um, I think they're all fairly similar. Sometimes the um, remote controls are slightly different. Um, I'm guessing sometimes the uh, the wiring colours are a bit different. <clears throat> but I'm going to try and explain today what all these cables do and how you can use them um, when wiring to a moped or a motorcycle. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually using this for a different project. I'm not going to be connecting it to a motorcycle. Um, but I thought it'd just be handy just to go through what all these cables do um, just in case you buy one and you're a bit confused. And uh, I wouldn't blame you if you were a bit confused because the um, instructions that come with these things are fairly hopeless really. Um, I mean that doesn't really make much sense what's going on here. Um, there's another wiring diagram here. Some of it makes sense like yellow cables they flash the indicators. Obviously red and black is power. Um, but what do these other cables do? Um, pink, there's a pink wire orange, grey. So uh, I'll try and explain what they do. Um, the other thing is I'm not going to have the sounder connected um, because this is ear shatteringly loud. <laughs> it's unbelievably loud. Um, so yeah if you're worried about how loud these things are um, don't be because this is um, yeah, ear piercingly loud. So I've got a bench power supply here, um, 12 volts, um, positive, negative. I've got a little test um, light here, so when it's, uh, so it just lights up when you make the circuit. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using that to try and explain what these, what these uh, cables do. Right, so first things first, um, you connect the red wire to positive and the black wire to negative. Okay, that's nice and easy so far. If you were to just do that and not connect anything else, obviously if you were to connect your sounder, you can just use the alarm arm. So if you tap it, it will start going off. You can probably hear it clicking. I haven't got a sounder connected, but that would be screeching right now. And you can just use the disarm, which disarms it. So that's nice and easy. Right, the next stage of what you can do is on the these two yellow wires, I'm going to try and keep this in frame, it's a bit, I'd really need a stand for the camera, but basically, so I just had a sudden thought, just to make it a bit easier, um, I found some crocodile clips, some little leads, so I can use the, hold the uh, phone and uh, demonstrate what's going on at the same time. So. The yellow wires connect to the indicators. So these are positive output. So when you lock and unlock the alarm, these go positive. So if I just quickly show you that, I'm pressing unlock. See that flash? And when you press lock, it flashes once. Okay. It does also flash when you use the start function as well so I don't know why it flashes when you do that but it does <laughs> but I'll explain the start function in a sec um, yeah so yellow wires um, positive output these go positive um, when you lock and unlock and obviously the other side of the bulb is going to uh, to negative there so that's that part of it so to explain the next cable, um, again I've still got my little light tester here. I've got a white cable this time and I've got it connected to the orange cable. Okay, what I should have said actually, these both these yellow wires are the same. So they both, you know, uh, one yellow wire connects to one indicator side and the other yellow wire connects to the other side of the car or motorcycle or whatever it is you're connecting to. So these both do exactly the same. Right. The orange cable. Now then, this is the ACC cable. What that means is when you press the starter, this orange cable here stays permanently live or plus 12 volts until you disarm. So just to demonstrate that, 
if I oh you have to press this twice by the way so we're now looking at a starter side of things so to start the vehicle or the motorcycle or moped whatever it is you got it connected to you press this twice you double click it so now I've armed that you'll see the light staying on and that basically turns the ignition on um, so you'd have to look into your switch wiring somehow for your motorcycle or whatever it is and work out which um, cable is ignition live to turn the ignition on and then to turn the ignition off you can press unlock okay so when you walk up to your vehicle you unlock it to start it double click and then that turn is, turns the ignition on and it stays on all the time until you press the unlock. Um, if you press the alarm button, oh, it turns it off and then starts sounding the alarm. So yeah, you have to uh, you have to use the unlock. Right, let's look at the next wire. Okay, so your orange wire then um, controls the ignition. That's what turns the ignition on, keeps the ignition live, turns on all your dashboard, your lights, that kind of stuff. The next wire we're going to look at is this blue one here and it's not this blue one this blue one here is the, is the antenna cable so you don't connect that to anything that's the antenna this blue wire here is the wire which starts or, or connects to the starter motor of the vehicle so if i just uh, demonstrate that again you double click and look at the uh, look at the lights look what that does Oh, got to do it again. There you go. Okay. Let me just show you that again. Double click. Oh, it's a bit finicky. Let me just try and show that again. There you go. You kind of have to get your timing right on the double clicks. There you go. So that goes live to start the vehicle so it turns the ignition on with the orange wire and then it turns the starter motor on to start the vehicle so i'll just demonstrate that one more time so starting there you go now hopefully now the vehicle is running and that's what that does Okay. Right, let's look at these other wires. Right, now then, the last two wires are the grey one here and the pink one. Now these are used as like a kill switch for the engine. So on some mopeds, when you want to turn the engine off, the engine or the CDI unit in the moped has to be grounded to turn the, the vehicle off otherwise it will keep running and that's what you use these two wires for and I'll, they have two different modes which I'll show you now so what I've done my test probe here my light the other end of the cable is connected to positive now so previously it was connected to negative because all the previous wires we looked at were positive switched now we're looking at a negative switched because you have to ground the cdi to turn the ignition off on some mopeds so i've got it connected to positive here's the other end of my test lead so if i connect this now to the gray wire okay that's now connected to the gray wire when we unlock or if we were to turn the vehicle off look what it does now So it momentarily switches that wire to ground when you unlock the vehicle. When you when you arm it, nothing. When you unlock it, it goes to ground. If you were to start the vehicle, nothing. Only when you unlock, that goes to ground. And it's the same for the pink wire. 
So if I connect my test probe to the pink wire, so that's now connected to pink. Again, if I unlock, it goes to ground. Right, now there's two modes to this. What you can do is connect the grey wire to permanent ground. So let me just do that now, if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Now, that's connected, so the grey wire connected to ground permanently. I've got my pink wire connected to my test light here. You can see now that it's on. So all the time, the vehicle, what happens when you lock it? Yeah, all the time, whether the vehicle is locked or unlocked, this is at ground. At ground potential. Uh, sorry, the pink wire is at ground. Okay, it's only when you start it that that goes off. Okay, so you can pretend the, the vehicle's running now. That's gone off. As soon as you lock it, or sorry, as soon as you unlock it, it goes back on. So that would kill your ignition. Um, yeah. So, it's only when you start it, that goes off. So you've got two modes. You've either got permanently connected to ground when it's um, unlocked or locked, and only not connected to ground when the engine's running, or momentarily. So that's what those two was. That's the pink and the grey wire. And that is, I think, about it. Um, so yeah, just to quickly summarise, Two yellow cables, positive switched, there to flash the indicators when you lock and unlock. The orange cable is the uh, ignition power, so that goes to your ignition relay. That turns on your dashboard, your lights, everything. The blue wire, that's your starter relay, so yeah, that's to start the the you know, starter motor, start the engine running. The grey wire, we have a choice, the pink and the grey wire. If you connect the grey wire to negative, then the pink wire is ground all the time. The vehicle is uh, locked or unlocked, and it's only not connected to ground when the engine is running. So that, you, you know, you'd connect this to the CDR unit to, uh, to disable the engine, basically. Um, if you don't need it permanently ground, then you could just connect that to the CDI so it just turns it off um, and just kills the ignition, you know. Um, <clears throat> the, this plug here is to the sounder. This is what the sounder looks like. So I'll quickly plug this in and give you a quick demo. Right, so I've got it plugged in just to give you, give you a quick demo of what it sounds like. So to unlock gives a little chirp and that is really loud I'm telling you that's why I've got it upside down because it's uh, so loud um, to arm it just a single chirp and then if you tap it so you get a few alarms first if you tap it again <laughs> and then it goes off. Tap it again. So it doesn't stay on all the time. It kind of, yeah, plays a little tune, really seriously loud tune, uh, and then goes off again. And it just kind of goes into a little cycle like that. Just turn it off. Um, the actual sensor is this little spring here. It's like a little spring loaded, little weighted spring there. That's what actually makes your alarm start working. There is a little trimmer pot there. I don't know what that does. That could be for the antenna tuning actually. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few relays in there. Like a little trans, a little uh, 
transformer winding now. I guess that's for the uh, high voltage. I don't know what voltage these take. 100 125 dB that says and I can believe that that is really really quite loud um, this was sealed along here so the it's quite funny the cables going in are sealed but all the way around here it wasn't sealed so this isn't waterproof you need to protect this or take it apart and, and seal it properly um, yeah that's not going to keep out water the way they had it is there any I was just looking in the lid yeah, there's no gasket in the lid, so this is definitely going to let, let in water. So, um, yeah, keep it out of the way of the water. You get two different types of key fob. You get like a straight one here. Um, oh, that was the other key. This one here is like a, a vehicle finder. So it just, so, just sounds the uh, alarm, so you can find your vehicle if you don't know where it is. And you get another type here, like a little uh, flat one. They're quite bulky. They're very, very light. I can't imagine there's a lot in here. They're quite bulky though. Um, what else can I tell you? The model number F5578. Um, let's have a quick look at these instructions. Um, so they're saying here the pink wire, it looks like it maybe goes to the ignition switch I guess that's right because I think when you on scooters when you turn the, the engine off it does actually ground the CDI unit so that's probably correct and they call it a stall line <laughs> um, there's another mode here again that grey wire is going to the stall line oh, down here I guess that's the same thing that's just goes just goes to the CDI unit to uh, disable it and on the back Intelligent anti-theft system for motorcycle and a very nice CBR there. I can't imagine if you had that CBR, I don't think you'd use this alarm, but you might do. Um, some very good Chinglish on here. Operation manual. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. Riding robbery. Robbed of riding, press security key. Auto bike immediately flame out. Hmm. Keyless start we looked at. Um, locating motorcycle, that's that bell function. Vibration sensitivity. I haven't actually tried this yet. Um, so it says, in the release state, pressing the bell key for two. Let's see if we can do that. What does it say? What's the bell key? So that's that one there. So it says, in the release state, pressing the bell key for two seconds, a system horn will b b b b b cycle. Select a gear and pressing the bell keys, it will enter into the fortified state the first gear was that say first gear is the five gear totally most sensitive okay the fifth gear is most sensitive hmm that makes sense doesn't it default is thin thinned gear when power on okay let's try it let's see what happens Four, one, two, three, four, five, one. So let's have three. Oh. What did I do there? Do I have to keep it pressed? I don't know. Uh, let's try that again. Three, four, one. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> okay, four, that, or one, two. Oh, um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You'd have to fiddle with that, I think. That doesn't really make much sense. But uh, there you go. That's how you, set, that's how you change the uh, sensitivity. Anyway, I hope that's been uh, useful for you. Let's have another quick look at the box. Alarm system of motorcycle. 24-hour all-time security. And there's a different bike. I don't know what bike that is. That looks like a... Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, 
MR Master Racing. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. And I'll see you on the next video.